Hi, my name is Robert Chacon, and I'm the founder of LibreQS. Today, we'll be taking a look at LibreQS v1.5. Here is the dashboard. The dashboard provides a high-level overview of your network, showing traffic moving through the network in real time. This dashboard includes widgets with many metrics available, such as throughput, TCP roundtrip time, TCP retransmits, and many more. These widgets are modular and can be rearranged according to the user's preference. Now, let's take a look at the search function. Let's say a customer calls into your ISP, reporting that they're experiencing game lag or some other performance issue. We'll use the search function to find the subscriber's profile and assess the issue. Here in the subscriber's profile, we can see that they're maxing out their connection of about 57 megabits per second. Next, let's look at the flows. Here, we can see the distribution of their traffic according to the ASN endpoint. This gives us an idea that about 70% of their traffic is connected to Valve Corporation. This suggests that the user is downloading a Steam game in the background. This can be critical information for a customer service rep troubleshooting the connection. Next, let's look at the network traffic tab. This also shows flow information, but with a bit more depth. Here we can see the current rate of each flow, the bytes, packets, retransmits, round trip time, etc., as well as the ASN, country, and other endpoint information. This can be helpful for troubleshooting specific flows which may be experiencing trouble. They can also help to address routing issues, peering issues, and things that may affect the ISP, as well as things that may just affect the sole subscriber. Next, let's take a look at the queue tree. The queue tree reveals all nodes that are north of a subscriber's location. For example, the first node is the access point that this subscriber connects to. Here you can see not just the throughput and retransmits of this connection, but also the round trip time distribution of all clients connected to that access point. This can be very helpful in revealing if an issue is affecting just the user or all users on that access point. Moreover, we can take a look at the site. The site that this AP is connected to is the next on the chain. We can also compare the round trip time distribution to see if there are any problems. If we observe, for example, that the round trip time distribution for the access point is considerably higher than that of its site, that might reveal that the access point has a specific issue that needs to be addressed. Finally, let's take a look at the tree overview. The tree overview shows many nodes. The nodes can be access points, sites, OLTs, etc. The color of the rectangle next to each node indicates the round trip time of that node and all nodes beneath it, including subscribers connected to it. The green indicates a smooth, stable connection for all subscribers connected to that node. To the left of the node, you can see the band size. The band size indicates the amount of data going through in proportion to the overall network. The color of the band indicates the percent utilization of that node, for example. The top node here has a capacity of about 1 gigabit per second. About 900 to 950 megabits per second are moving through that connection at any given time. This shows us how LibreQS effectively mitigates latency at every choke point along the network fabric. This sea of green rectangles indicates a positive customer experience across the entire network. It also demonstrates the effectiveness of LibreQS's shaping. These are just some of the many features of LibreQS, so we encourage you to set up a testbed install LibreQS, and try it for yourself. For more information, please visit LibreQS.io.